Hello, everybody, and welcome to Electric City Sentai Denzi Caster, your somewhat regularly scheduled video cast about the wonderful world of Tokusatsu. I am Mike, and it is the original Drive Trio here as we try to uh, round out the series. Uh, we're on our way. <laughs> Yay. Myself, Dave the Head, Joe Budnick, our Wondering Ronin, and uh, our studio audience you heard just a second ago. Yes, that would be uh, the Alaskan Penguin off to the side. Uh, we One limitation of the new studio is we really only have room for three people on camera at a time with this setup, so what? Yeah, but there aren't penguins in the Arctic. Yeah. That's part of the get. Anyway. <laughs> do you even watch our show? Do you show, bro? Do you I show? actually do. Do you show? I just apparently don't Chris. <laughs> okay. Fair. So, <laughs> we've gotten done watching episodes 39 and 40 of I Common Rider like Drive. geography. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> so, we've gotten done watching episodes uh, 39 and 40 of Common Rider Drive. We just wrapped those up. Uh, it, it ain't that bad. I know it's a tiny little camera. <laughs> That's what makes it funny. You can still put a dent in somebody's skull and put them down for good. It doesn't matter about the size. So. That's what she said? Uh, we've officially <laughs> we've officially sunk into the, the ranks, ranks, um, the ranks that this, YouTube would expect us to. I, I um, did call this, which is going to go so fast yeah, before well. we start recording. So. Uh, these two episodes revolved around Tornado as our villain of the couple of weeks. Um, basically, we are in a continuation of the promised number. We're trying to get all the roid mutes together. There are supposed to be four Super Saiyan roid mutes. And uh, we have Good Heart. It. Yeah, we have Brain and Heart. They are the first two. Of our shiny golden roid mutes. Yes. So wh whichever... Whichever trope you want to use, I mean, Pokemon Go is a thing these days, or at least it is while we're recording it. I don't know if it still will be when it airs, but... Uh, I, I kind of doubt it's going to drop like a fly. Yeah, one, one would expect. But uh, Unless all the servers burn, then, you know. <laughs> so, uh, that's the, sort of the main plot for our heroes throughout these two episodes, or at least that's the background. The biggest thing we get out of this, aside from Tornado, who is uh, basically... The emotional remains of a frustrated fashion designer who wants to put his necklace around the perfect neck. Uh, so, like, so much of a fetishist. Mm -hmm. um, we wind up, the the real, I think, takeaway from these two episodes is, Bono's a right bastard. Yeah, yeah. Um, we find out that Bono, which is uh, the father, biological father, of uh, Go and Kiriko, and... Might as well be the spiritual spiritual father, father of all the roid mutes. Um, is a complete jackass. Uh, I was going to say if he's a spiritual father in the sense of that father being a raging alcoholic who beats his children a lot. He's like the level. Have of you asshole. been reading my memoirs? <laughs> <laughs> he's but, he's definitely that level of asshole. Although he's more just the straight up sadistic experimenter. How he's yeah, betrayed. I mean he doesn't treat him like. But, well, yeah, I mean, he believes the whole world is his. Yeah, well, that, that everyone's an idiot for not well, realizing. Well, the question is, is was he like that as a person, or is he like that now because he's a digital internet god? Well, uh, in the flashbacks... A little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. <laughs> I, I think in the flashbacks you get the sense that he was simply a egotistical scientist. Yeah, yeah, he's a cruel scientist, I get but that. But then when he got turned down, he created an intelligent humanoid form of life for no other reason than to torture it. Because it resembled the business guy. I am God and I am a vengeful God. He now bow before me. He deliberately made it look like the entrepreneur that turned oh, him I got out. that part. I'm so this dude is damaged in, in a big way. And apparently in Japan, iPads can do tons of shit we can't do here in the, in the States. Because apparently like they can... sprout electric tentacles? Well, I was thinking more on the lines of, well, give Apple time. I was, thinking more, <laughs> I was thinking more on the lines of drive cars autonomously and well. To and be fair, the belt, teleport apparently. the belt drives the car too. Yeah, but at least it's plugged into the car. This thing was just sitting in the driver's seat. Was it? I thought it was plugged in as well. No, it was sitting know. in the driver's seat. Um, of the car. It wasn't I'm really going to make the argument of it sprouted electric tentacles. We don't know where those tentacles were when it was trying to drive it, but that could be related to plugging Maybe. in and hacking in. But still, it, it's... For the ride... What was it? Was it the ride booster? The ride yeah, booster. Yeah, I'm about to say the car sled. So, I mean, the, you don't know where the tentacles are. Sound like a pretty good date night. Oh, wow. <laughs> so... Lowest common denominator. This is why the big Lowest. trio hasn't gotten together in a while. So... 
True story. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> likes and dislikes about the, this pair of episodes. Um, oh, God. Take it or leave it. I think Tornado as a roid mood versus Tornado as a person. One was a great success. The other was, my God, why? In fact, you called the... Uh, Crocodile Honda. Thank you. Pretty, pretty apt uh, description like, for his visual uh, styling. When you he, first see him, yes. He was all like, Konnichiwa, Shiro. That's a nice looking neck. <laughs> wow. Oh. I offend two countries at once! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I... I liked, um... I liked a lot of the visuals this time. And I know that sounds stupid, but... After all the bad jokes, I'm, I'm going to sound like a real perv now, but seeing Kuriko in that little short wedding dress was very cute. Yeah. So I was happy with that. that was, as, as they say, that was for the dads. So, <laughs> oh. I mean, look, hey, that, that's a long-standing tradition in Tokusatsu. They know the parents are going to be watching this stuff with the kids. So they're going to throw something in there that is either eye candy, be it for the male or female adult contingent of the audience. Yeah, I mean... But without being overt. Uh, so. Shinosuke showing up in his casual clothes could easily be viewed as a very handsome young man. Wearing toys. Looking like an absolutely ridiculous guy, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean... You yeah, commented so. Yeah, he does look like a big dork. He, he, he doesn't look good outside that suit, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> After 38 episodes of seeing him in almost the, yeah. only that suit? Yeah. I like the driving test. The, the little... Frenemy stuff is finally starting to make a complete circle with Go and Chase. Yeah, which is nice. Because at first Chase was trying and Go was resisting, but now they seem to be working together. My only problem with that is they took it from what was a comedic moment and they had to shoot more into the second episode of The Pair and make it suddenly relevant for actual monster fighting. I I didn't think that. If that was meant as another joke... Well, they've always been good together fighting. I don't... They just never been good together with anything else. I don't know if them if them having him just randomly show up and go, you know, don't worry, I can do this. I have a driver's license now. I don't think that was so much them shoehorning it in as it was. No, that's actually how Chase probably would have reacted because he would have been sitting yeah. there like, no, I have driver's license, I can do this. I, I is, mean, yeah, it works. He's a very literal. cardboard personality kind of guy. Yeah, I was thinking more literal, straightforward. And yeah, yeah. Socially awkward, perhaps, but. I, was it I felt like that was supposed to be a joke in a pan because it was building off the jokes in the prior episode about the whole car test thing. Mm. I felt like it wasn't necessary and it didn't really do much. Was this the two episodes there. that did the, the axe joke? Yeah. Yes. So when he like grabbed his axe and he was waiting for it to charge up, he handed it off to Chase, so Chase had to charge it up? Well, no, or Ch- whatever. Chase hands it off to Yeah, Tom. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hand it to go. I thought that was hilarious. That was pretty good. Yeah, there, there's a certain amount of chemistry now where it's gone from "I want you dead" yeah, right. to friendly rivalry. I, I, we I'm can inter- work. Just I've I've never got us. into the Japanese frenemy thing. He's yeah. my rival. Yo, when I had rivals, I wanted to hit them with cars. I mean, yeah. I well, they've done that in this. Show. I didn't want to go out for burgers. <laughs> so one thing I I do want to um, touch back on is the the Roid Mute design for this one. You like Tornado in the suit. The only thing, and I only noticed and this I toward the end of the second episode, was they had the curly point, pointed shoes that I think of, you know, genies and shit. Like a sultan, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I could have done without that part of the design, but I didn't notice that until he was flying and about to be double rider kicked. So, eh. Otherwise, the, the suit design was pretty good. See, I, I did not like his costume at all. Well, as like we've it. seen on Denzi Castro, I'm apparently have a different standard of costumes than they do. Well, no, it, it don't was... they? I his costume was so unimmersive or unimpressive that I don't even recall it. This exact second we watched it, what five minutes ago? I don't even remember as a monster what he looked like. I mean, uh, but I, was... I do like the little hat and the tie and the vest like, that the human was wearing. I I didn't mind. I didn't him. mind his visual study. I just thought the human was kind of uninteresting. Well, he's supposed to be a fashion a, designer who looks like a fashion nightmare. Yeah, but and for as a, a fashion late nightmare, series, I know my own. For a late series <laughs> villain, though, <laughs> he doesn't do himself. We don't even have to do anything anymore. Um, you haven't been in public with me, not in a while. <laughs> thank God. So I, I've got a. You see, I, the reason I did not care for the tornado costume, to be perfectly honest, it. Most of the costumes in the show have actually done a pretty good job of, of catching on to the 
the theme of it, you know, the you know, so heart has the heart shaped, uh, you know, the heart shaped the gimmick. Um, you have uh, brain with the exposed Cerebral brain, head. yeah. But you look at you look at tornado, and the only thing that goes through my mind, especially with the tornado drill like weapon on his arm, the only thing that goes through my mind oh, is I forgot about the hell crappy that was. This this that was, was crappy, but that was a design but, choice. That, yeah. But th- I look at it and go, this is a this was a, a a Mega Man villain that they turned down. That's what literally came to my mind when I looked. at it. I was like, this was a this was a something that like. I mean, most the folks at Capcom Village. went, nope. <laughs> How will we defeat the <laughs> to Tornado Man? We'll lay down and in we, the no, gutter? I, I get what you're saying, because the costume, if you saw the costume on its own, and they, they could they, guess a number of things, not just yeah. Tornado. Yeah, and these guys, I mean, when I say Capcom turned it down, I mean, I'm, I'm just saying, they've had, what, ten games in the core Mega Man series? They've long since started scraping the bottom of the barrel. So, go to X-Series, Tornado Tunyon. It's an onion. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and, then and it's supposed to be an assassin, and he dances and spins the entire fight. Look at yep. me, I hate Mega Man. <laughs> <Yep. laughs> There's a reason why anything past X five you can it's pretty much write off. <laughs> yeah. So back to uh, back to what back to a, a, a trademark here on our drive discussions when the three of us are together. How about that CG there towards the end with their uh, with the double rider kick? Okay, he's actually the one who probably has the most to say about the double rider kick since he was the one who was mentioning most about it during the watch through. I don't usually mind the computer graphics. I just thought, we're flying in this vehicle, so we'll just jump up and surf, and then eventually the vehicle will make tornado waves that we'll ride down for a kick. And I was like, well, that was like eight flavors. And we'll corkscrew halfway through the kick and then stop corkscrewing for no reason. Yeah, right. Despite being in a swirly thing. You know, Uh, use the lasers! Actually, like, the CG wasn't bad. The wind effects for Tornado, given the CG standard in this series, was actually pretty good. Yeah. The 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 CG of the car at the end, because of this whole... They could have had a spaceship. And, and, Doofus, a lot more cool. and Doofus driving the car. Point. Oh, look, it's the car, and it transformed, and then it transformed again. I yeah, think they just did all that. Tridron to hey, Tridron Wild tried. to attaching the ride boosters right. to well, what the fuck is this at this point? You are going to get the whole from time to time, hey, these toys are still on the shelf, kiddies, go buy them. But I, the one thing I did it could have done you. better. Yeah, but it was that was the low point of the CG of the entire two. Common Rider part. Drive. It could have been done better. <laughs> <laughs> but I enjoyed I enjoyed the double rider kick, and the reason I think you have them stop court is because you don't know what they're doing if you don't, and you want they they want the image of the you, two you, riders you, side you by have side. That setup of everything well, else with the sayings and all that, you could see well, it's a double rider kick before right. they're even jumping. But I think, but there's a certain iconic image, iconic imagery that goes behind the double rider kick, dating back to the original okay. Common Rider. You so, could argue that. At that point, though, why keep the streams up? I couldn't tell you. I'm just what, once the tor- once tornado's own wind stream effect was gone, you could have stopped the, the spiraling like, wind tornado. I still think just thing. a giant wall would have stopped that. <laughs> it's wind. It's wind. <laughs> Too long to go for a toy commercial. There you go. So, <laughs> supportive audience because I, I just don't feel like it's responding at this yeah, point. Well. <laughs> Ninja kicking people uh, out of a tornado because they are a tornado off of CG robot toys just pretty much made me realize I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> we all are actually, but some of us actually collect the shit too. So what the hell? Well, so um, I mean, but it's no. been fun. It's been interesting. There have been drama. There's been comedy. There's uh, I, I'm the one who really likes the family aspects of a lot of the stories. Right. The brother and sister sometimes act like brother and sister, and sometimes they don't. This one they kind of did. There's a lot of things about the show that I do enjoy, even though it is a kid's show, or maybe because it is a kid's show. But this is like the first time in a long time I can remember that I hated something because it was a kid's show. Well, I can I can say this. If I'm not terribly mistaken, I believe we have eight episodes remaining. Binge. So we are very much in the home stretch. So because some of us are in our same wardrobe. Yeah. So for those of you who watched the last Coming Rider Drive episode, but anyway, mm-hmm. I think the last one I showed you, I was still in a Wofford hoodie. It just goes probably. Short. So how long? It- what are you? <laughs> yeah. So here's a question for you. Uh, yes. And I want to ask it to you because, well, both of you. No, are, but You're the one who's more knowledgeable than me. Because he's pretty. And it's fine. Backs. Ground of the show. Is that really a distraction? <laughs> anyway, uh, has it been intentional how they've done with the type formula suit? 
that I was hyped that finally got chomping a lot and all that. And, and lately, this past episode, the first episode of the pair, he's told go into uh, try to run. No, oh. he's told to start in type formula because the guy has a master win instead of going into type wild. Oh. And then he goes into and he gets his ass beat, and then he goes into type trainer on, and then you never oh. see type formula in the other fight because he's told to go into and he wants to go into type trainer on, but he starts in type speed. So it's like everybody else hates type formula, and they're trying to well, no, no. minimize it. No, no, what you're <laughs> what you're describing is actually not unheard of. So the okay. here's in, our fourth suit. Here's eighteen epi- or six episodes of it, and now we'll never talk about it again. Well, no, not even that, because in, in the last few episodes, we've actually seen every drive form in the past few episodes. We've seen Technic and Wild and Speed and, and Formula and Trigeron. The What we're seeing at this point, Trigeron is still, for us, we haven't actually sat down to watch this show in quite a while. But for the context of the show, the Trigeron suit is still very new. So what you're running into is they they have to get Trideron over as the ultimate form of drive. The mid-season upgrade was formula, and formula for ever so many episodes was shit got real, break out the blue suit. Now you have to see that even the blue suit, even formula, which we know is so powerful, can't beat this guy. So they move on to Trideron. Basically, the last one that I did of, of it, just, it felt like a disconnect of, it's the same villain, you know Formula's better than Speed, but, oh, we're going to start with Speed until we get the chance to shift it to try to run. I think it would be neat if, if the suits only worked for certain shift cars. I know that there's some that work better, but right. they've never come out and said, this one won't work with that one. Sort of. Uh, and I think it would be interesting, but it would also, I mean... Drive is one of the more toyetic common Rider series of all time. <laughs> no argument there. <laughs> so you need to be able to show that you need to be able to have sell, hey, we can take all ever how many shift cars and make this accessory for this rider toy in type speed. Then we can take all these shift cars and make another accessory for this one in type wild, and so it's all a toy thing at that point. But uh, but no, that's the the I mean, story. If you got thirty lines. cars and you got five suits, somebody who does mathematics can figure out all the variations there. Yeah. So final thoughts as we move forward into the final eight episodes. It's either eight or nine. Uh, I don't have the count in front of me, but the last handful of episodes of Kamen Rider Drive. I have two. Okay. The first is something that I believe Richie's the one who would echo this most. Why the hell do they have to be trying to promote medic as one of the ultimate forms? Well, that, know, that's what we get from the te- the teaser where it's, I'm actually okay they're with trying that. No. to that. I'm like, I really I, don't want even to have that as a consideration. I will say this: you weren't here the first two episodes we watched today. Yeah. They actually do a character shift in yeah. medic where she she's... has a major plot change. I still yeah. don't like her. Yeah, but they they have never you... liked her design. But she has a nurse hat and a gothic Lolita look. How could you not like this? They give her a. <laughs> they give her a a. A specific character Did you want the hammer shift. back? Yes. <laughs> they give her a specific character shift that starts to be something of a face turn for her. And kind of explain why she's Not been so. a dick. Yeah. <laughs> but at the same... Now I know she's record, in her base character level and design, so I, I mean, I got a lot of issues with the character. So your, your problem with the character is the aesthetic, not necessarily the... It was everything. I'm willing to give a benefit of the doubt if there was a character shift that I was missing. Mm-hmm. But that's still... Instead of... It's like... Oh, and it's slightly... And that character shift was abrupt as a mother, too, to be perfectly honest. But so. it was also very... Dry. Strong. Most things have been abrupt as a mother. Well, it was a very strong... It's a strong For moment, a series so yeah. based on cars, you'd think they understand that you have to shift with smooth clutch action, not... <laughs> the Go ahead. There was a pawn. Get him. No? Okay. As, <laughs> as, much, as much as I make the the visual jokes, that's actually the least of my concern. I, and you know, I, I get, most of the monsters look stupid to me, but it doesn't bother me. It's their reasons. It's what they're doing. And apparently everybody, all the monsters believe in recycling because they keep using the same drill arm attack. And, <laughs> uh, I, looking forward, I wanted to know something before we answer this. Sure. Was these new to you, or have you seen these? I've seen these two, and I've seen the next two, I think. Okay. So personally, I think the whole, uh, a whole, I think that the dynamic of what we've been watching all along is going to change. I think it's going to show up that Ban- Bono is Bano, whatever, is the really the bad guy now. Yeah, Pad's the villain. 
Mm-hmm. Um, the Roy so Muse. Credit, I was kind of expecting Hart to volunteer to help them track down Bono with the way Hart was. Well, and one thing wanting we forgot, a whole one thing we missed. Thing. One thing we missed, which lends credence to your theory, is uh, for these two episodes, it's a major deal. Is that Krim the belt gets kidnapped? Yeah, they make another belt. Yeah. The bad guys do. Which spoiled presu- in the preview for the next yeah. episode. Anyway. Which presumably well, it's the preview for the movie. Well, no, no, no. Right. Actually, no. You actually see him grab the belt at the right, end right. of this episode and take it with him. And it's a the belt has a yellow uh, interface on it instead of red, and it, that is presumably Bono in that belt. Right. So, but like I'm saying, yeah. you know, all the ads for the movie are showing that this was the moment that history changed. And the whole point of the movie is 20 years in the future coming back to stop this moment. Right, so your... if we watch the movie in terms of the proper chronology, we'd be watching it next. Not... I don't know. Well, the movie, the thing with Kamen Rider movies, and, and for those of you out there not familiar with Kamen Rider, before I guess I go into my final thoughts, and Toku movies, as more often than not, the movies are not directly connected to the series they're chronology. Stand-alone. They're standalone. Sort of like when we watched but... the Fies Paradise Lost movie. That movie has zero to do with Kamen Rider Fies, the series, other than same characters, same costumes. The world itself is different. I'm just so. saying more from the point that I think this is where this splits off. Like it's all yes. a little thing. I mean, they, they do that as... Don't they Not never, necessarily it's woven back in. Yeah, one thing they've never done is the these episodes, the last two and then these two that we've been watching, they have like little mini episodes at the end that serve as trailers and background for the movie Surprise Drive, I think is what it's called, and um, and the trailers feature uh, feature Shinosuke's kid and showing what's you know going on. And there is a moment where they show you the basically the scene you where the just best watched, gets moved. What yeah. you just watched, saying this is the moment that everything changed. It you know cannot when the Roy Muge yeah. took the belt. Yeah, it has to not to allow the, the past to be changed. Yeah. But that's the or to voice happen, talking to the something. evil writer. Yeah. So my final thoughts on the these two writer. the sold out writer. <laughs> <laughs> my thought process on these two episodes. Um, he gets the ladies. It's the it is the genuine to me this is this feels like this is the genuine turning point into the the final stretch of the series. I don't normally like the potential big bad guy reveal to come this late in a series, but they've done it pretty well in this one. So we've still got some more to go and some more to look at. About eight more episodes of Drive, and then we will move on to another series here on Denzi Cast. We'll probably take a break and watch a few movies or something. Um, and of course, uh, with uh, Roger, uh, we're watching Kamen Rider Amazons, uh, mm. so definitely check that out too. But with all of those various things being said, our next long term series, you need to tell us. So we need you to jump over to the Facebook page, facebook.com slash DenzyCaster, or in the comments of this video, and tell us what our next long term series should be. Uh, I've been watching. Uh, Decker Ranger on the Denzi Blitz. Uh, Common Rider Decade is also going to be coming up on the Denzi Blitz. Uh, Chris is in the process. Uh, our favorite penguin over here uh, off screen. Uh, there, there he is. He's in the process of shooting, uh, watching and shooting uh, his Denzi Blitz episodes, which will be for Common Rider Forze. So look forward to that. So what do we watch next? Is it something old? Is it something new? Do we jump in the Wayback Machine and and see some old uh, Super Sentai? What do we do next? You let us know. Uh, I still got a vote for Toku Adjacent. (laughs) I like Adjacent. I like taking off the beaten path. Right. So that's usually We've hardly beaten this path to establish it. (laughs) We've um, we've been watching one show. (laughs) No, we haven't. We watched this show. We watched... The ninja. No, okay, we whoa, watched, whoa, 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 Wait a minute. We all on. put the kibosh on ninja. We did, but we watched 15, 20 episodes. No, we, <laughs> no, we did not. We did not. We punched out of that way before that. <laughs> what was the one that you said was more of an adult? We watched a couple episodes of Gara, which okay. I would love to go back to. Oh, well, well, I've that. seen Amazon. I mean, I've been There's in a couple a, episodes. Yeah, you've, you've seen, but, but I mean, one show all movies. the way through. We've seen one all the way through. So, anywho, folks, you tell us what you want us to check out next. Uh, lots of options, obviously. Uh, or maybe we do something that's actually been commercially released here in the U.S. Because uh, Zhu Ranger, which becomes Mighty Morphin. Uh, Die Ranger, which was say, season two of Mighty Morphin. Big Bad Beetleborgs. 
Um, I, I don't know where to find it. Uh, Shout Factor, I'm sure, has put it out. But, um, but tracking that down but, could be an exercise of ingenuity. But Jay Leno impersonating Elvis ghost. No, no, no Jay Leno Elvis ghost. Aww. So, folks, <laughs> you let us know. Yeah. Nobody likes the show. They like Flubber. I actually like to like Beetleborgs, but moving on. So <laughs> yeah, but you were eight. I grew up on Beetleborgs. Let us because you know. were eight. Yes. <laughs> so let us know what you want us to watch next, folks. Here on Denzy Caster. But don't worry, we've still got about four more episodes of Drive uh, coming your way on here. Four more episodes for us. Eight more episodes of the whole series. So until next time, where we will have some more Common Rider Drive, undoubtedly. I'm Mike. I'm David. And I'm your running in the know, Mr. Joe. And we will see you next time on Denzy Caster. Yeah. I think the end's going to be that they're going to work together to defeat the, the iPad, and then the Roy moods are going to download themselves into, like, Pioneer 17 and go into space to uh, come aboard.